It's nine in the morning. I've just pulled up outside the supermarket in Fort William. It's a classic October morning for Lochaber. It's pouring with rain. I'm on my way to the crag and uh, I'm definitely going to be wearing the Gore-Tex to get to the crag today. In this episode, I'm going to talk about celebrating and moving on from hard projects. Many of you who subscribe to my channel will know that I just completed uh, an E10 project on Peninsulus about a week ago that I was working on for a long time and that was a very very satisfying experience. Uh, completing that project reminded me of a blog post that I wrote on my blog about 10 years ago that was called Earning the Raspberry Cheesecake and in it I was talking about going to this supermarket Morrison's in Fort William and uh, looking at this this raspberry cheesecake that was on the shelf and this cheesecake looked really really nice and I thought oh I quite fancy that but then given that I have to look after my weight and my diet as a climber then I thought well maybe that's not really a great choice for me to make uh, just on the, on a whim so I thought well what have I really done to earn this and I, th I, I picked it up and I, I put it back and I thought well, when I've done my Ring of Steel project, which was Cubby's old project, Ring of Steel and HC Plus, um, then I'll buy the raspberry cheesecake. But then when I completed that project, I picked it up again, and I think I actually put it in my basket, but then put it back. And then I thought, well, no, when I complete Echo Wall, I'll, I'll buy the raspberry cheesecake. And when I completed Echo Wall, I didn't buy the raspberry cheesecake. I, again, I picked it up, I put it in my basket, and then I thought, no, I don't feel like I've, I've earned it. At a certain point you think, well, what do I have to do to earn the raspberry cheesecake? I can see that there was something about completing projects that I, celebrating by eating junk food didn't seem to be the right match. It didn't, it didn't feel right because I kept giving myself the opportunity to, to do so, um, but not doing it. Well, and, and it does beg the question, why do we celebrate like this at all? It really is quite hardwired in our culture to celebrate with things that are unhealthy, <laughs> alcohol and junk food. If that's what you want to do, I think that's totally fine. But I do think it's a good idea to question, like, do we do it because it's a good idea and it's what we want to do? Or do we do it because it's just in the culture and that we're just kind of hardwired to do it? I wouldn't say that I'm a contrarian by any means, but uh, I definitely do like to question uh, lots of aspects of, of culture and uh, practices and ways of doing things and I think that that's been absolutely crucial in getting good at my sport. So much of what is marketed to us in our western culture are things that will ultimately destroy our performance. So it's worth at least considering what the alternatives might be to celebrating uh, completing a big project with some sort of uh, indulgence that may or may not be um, a fitting reward to, for doing that project. I've thought quite a lot about this and I noticed that what I tend to gravitate to as a way of celebrating and also moving on from completing hard projects is just to launch straight into another one. <laughs> to me, if you get into really good physical and mental shape and you're able to perform at a good level for you uh, on something like a climb, then a great way to celebrate that is to go and do another hard climb, or better still, a harder one. I am certainly not afraid to indulge, to eat raspberry cheesecake, drink alcohol, whatever. I do, I maybe drink alcohol about twice or three times a year, um, and I'll eat some abject junk food, maybe about the same, like three or four times a year. But the one time that I don't feel like indulging in that way is after completing a project. I think the, thing, I think the times that I do feel like indulging in that way are more spontaneous, it's more when I'm out with friends or I just I just feel like it. So having completed my project on Benny and Shoes, I'm going to celebrate in the following ways. I'm going to go to the supermarket and I'm going to buy some vegetables. <laughs> this is another story but I'm actually doing a very vegetable heavy diet uh, as a particular experiment in preparation for the next project which I'd like to climb. So here we go, we're going to do the shopping and we shall walk past the raspberry cheesecake. <laughs> So my friend Helen bought me a present for doing my E10. I've not opened it yet. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> it is the raspberry cheesecake. Hmm, <laughs> let's get this open. Per 100 grams, 372 calories, 23 grams of fat. Hmm, 
20 grams of sugar. <laughs> cool. Now, let's make one cut. Yes. Only kidding. <laughs> 